this is the the little control panel for the 2017 onwards fusions um i was just curious to see if there were cold seat buttons behind this because i think to save money ford would rather just produce the same motherboard or the the circuit board behind for all of their cars rather than making two different ones so that was my guess hypothesis based on what i've seen in other previous uh, ford parts so i took it apart and to take it apart you just remove all these screws all the screws are are removed from this and then pull up this piece comes off now down here this is the motherboard now if you pull off the motherboard you'll see that right where so this this little rubber thing I know it's for cushioning and for making the button softer but it also helps us see where the buttons are so I can't turn this over because all the buttons will fall out but the buttons for the heated and cooled seat are supposed to be in the second row from the bottom so if you look at the second row from the bottom we'll see that this is the button for the heated seat but if you notice next to it there's another button and this is the one for the cold seat but if you notice there's no leds now if we look under this the leds don't actually matter because i think the button's gonna work even without the led i think the led is just for the sake of illuminating it and if you really want an led you could just take it from some other scrap part you have from this car because if you're working on this car i assume you have prior knowledge and to have prior knowledge i'm assuming you have taken it apart before so if you have any extra parts you can just solder leds on here from those parts and it's not too hard there's only four pins on each led so it shouldn't take too long or be too hard now when i was putting it back together i actually noticed that in here this is the heated seat button but there's actually a slot for the cooled seat button yet there's no cooled seat button so i went around and looked at the other side and i saw that it's literally a slot that's just not drilled out yet so you could take a drill bit and drill it out and then put a button in there the only problem is where to get a button and now i have a solution for that too so if you want to save money while doing this buying a new one of these control panel units is more than a hundred dollars you can probably go to the junkyard and find one from a flood car or from a burned car that's probably going to be like they'll give it to you for like 10 bucks and if it's from a flood car or burned car chances are that even though the motherboard the or this little pcb is bad these leds are probably still working you could take the leds from that and if that car and you should probably take it from a cool seats for a car but take the you can probably take the button from that too actually if, if you're taking it from a flood car you could probably take the whole front fascia from that so you wouldn't even have to worry about that just use the motherboard in your original car and solder the leds on and you're set and for the if you're this is if you're adding adding cool seats but also if you want to add cool seats you will have to add the hardware for the cool seats inside the seat which is you'd probably be buying a whole new seat at that point because the i looked at this car and the seats under they are not like my seats which are cooled and heated the cooled and heated seats don't have a electric coil heating system they have a fan and then i think there's an electric coil inside that fan but it's a whole module that goes under the seat rather than just under the seat cover so this car the that i have right now has only the electric coil heating system so but to change this to cool seats it's literally just a direct swap of the seats 
and then you can modify this control panel to work or you can just change the whole control panel also but I was just curious what was inside the titanium's control panel so I opened it up and I made this video I hope you guys liked it it's meant to be just informative I'm curious and I just take apart everything I find so I'm gonna be putting this back together now but I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching remember to subscribe thanks